Hi, this is J.P. Morgan. And I'm Terry from Makeup Magic. And I'm Adam Hagenboo. Adam is here to help us do a killer clown. Kind of like the It Clown, but our version of the It Clown. Creepy, creepy. Creepy and bloody and more of a killer. The companion lesson with this one is going to be how to do a Halloween set for under $100. We'll post that lesson on Halloween Day. So check that out. But right now, if you want to be a killer clown for Halloween, Terry's going to show you how to do it. All right, so I bought these FX transfers and it got stuck to the box. So we're gonna try to see what happens and try to put it on and try to salvage it, but we'll let's see what happens. And so first I'm gonna clean off the area, rubbing alcohol, which smells really good, right? Oh yeah. It's so sticky. So now I'm gonna break down some edges with rubbing alcohol. So what about this stuff makes it dissolve under the, uh, the alcohol? I, you know, I don't know. I think a lot of sticky stuff dissolves under rubbing alcohol, no matter what. <laughs> if you don't have one of these, uh, I mean, they're cheap to buy at the makeup store and uh, most of the time pretty easy to use, except this particular one. And if you, but you don't have it, just do a lot of like painting and shading. Or you could build it up with third degree or Bondo. Make your own. All right, so now I'm going to use some alcohol paint in the airbrush. So with the alcohol paints, you can paint it on, which I will be doing some painting also. But with the airbrush, it just uh, goes on faster and there's no streaks. I'm gonna cut down some of this where it, it screwed up when it got stuck. This feels like when you go to the dentist and they give you a ton of Novocaine and you're like, oh, all right, just hack away. Your eyes will freeze that way. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> is this, is, is what you're turning me into going to be like kid birthday appropriate? Uh, Quality clown <laughs> for a children's <laughs> birthday party. If, if it was me that was the kid. Yeah. Uh, so the paints that I'm using are all alcohol-based paints. So using the alcohol mm -hmm. paint, it dries fast. Oh, okay. And it doesn't it doesn't move. Plus, it'll actually come off. Oh, that's nice. It only comes off with what is it? Uh, Ninety percent rubbing alcohol. Oh, that's actually, ninety nine percent. Sorry. Ninety nine. Ninety nine percent. So right now, I'm just kind of painting on some of his eye area. I think what makes the difference between a, a creepy clown and a a regular clown is uh, a little bit more of like the, the eyebrows and a bigger mouth and scary teeth. Actually a lot to do with the expression. And Adam has some great expressions, so I have a feeling he's gonna be very creepy. <laughs> I find the biggest difference between a creepy clown and a regular clown is how badly they wanna hug you. Uh, they're really, I think there's a different kind of creepy. <laughs> they're really keen to hug you, then you can classify them as a, as a creepy clown. <laughs> okay, so what's the difference between a killer clown when they hug you with a knife? Yeah, maybe just if you see blood on them anywhere, it's a good indication. Clowns probably, in their typical line of work, not supposed to run into a lot of blood. Isn't all clowns kind of creepy? I, I think so. I think it's something about the smile that's painted on, like they can't frown, you know? So you don't really know what they feel emotionally. Unless it's a hobo clown. Right, and then you're like, oh, you're sad. This is gonna be exciting. I have no idea what you're doing at all. I don't either. It'll be a <laughs> big surprise for me when I see it though. You can at least and see me. what you're doing. I'm going to go back and do some more white on the cheeks, but I'm gonna be doing the red. And so if I did the white over his mouth, it would be pink. I wonder where clowns even came from in the first place. Um, I think a lot of it came out of uh, Commedia dell'arte. They had these big, broad characters that they would sort of put on to portray different emotions. Kind of a totally different approach to acting than like the method or like trying to be real in any way. So it was like when they were doing all the face painting? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they'd paint on what emotions they were supposed to be feeling and stuff like that. That's more than I know, but I always wondered why. Why? Yeah, it's like, this seems like such a weird abstract form of... I think a lot of it came out of, because there were like several archetypes of Commedia dell'arte, and then the main one that a lot of like clown and joker figures came out of was the Harlequin. 
which is like I think what a traditional clown kind of looked like. It was like a silly character, and that's like that was the same time as like court jesters and things like that. And of course, that's where they get the name of that character, who's、uh, Harley Quinn, Joker's sidekick. Yeah, Harley Quinn. They're pretty on the nose about the names in the Batman world.、Mm-hmm. Joker, Two Face. So I use the alcohol-based paint right on the lips, and it, it dries and it stays a lot better. I'm going over it several times because the, the more that you go over it after it dries. The darker the color gets, so I'm gonna go underneath his eyes with the black pencils because I don't want to put the alcohol base paint like under his eyes before I go and irritate you. Sorry, <laughs> I don't do makeup very often, so or at least not this kind of makeup on our show. I don't dress up as a killer clown very often. I'm going in with a red pencil because I'm so close to his eye. I think I, I just kind of go and do it and see if something else needs to be added to it after I get more done. You know, keep building it up. So I'm testing out the wig, and I'm going to pull some of his own hair out so we can put it in there. And I'm going to do some color and, and spray paints and pin it down. So he's going to get in costume first because he won't be able to get the costume. Let's do another one. Sorry. He won't be able to get the costume on with the wig on. Oh, you're so pretty. Thank you. So we're almost done. We're gonna try some contacts. We gotta get a rubber nose. Yeah. Can you see? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> All right, let's get you dressed. Cool. So this is a really cheap Beetlejuice wig that I cut the. The forehead out of, <laughs> and then I'm going to make it so his hair sticks out. So you don't necessarily need to go out and buy a, a really expensive wig. I thought this one would be funny because I can I could spray paint it and do a lot of colors. I could do this whole thing with his own hair, but I didn't want to have to spray paint his whole head. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to spray paint、um, some of the wig. Yeah, this is hair sp- hairspray paint.、Um, do you think I can do that in here? All right. So now I'm going to actually go back and, and spray a little bit more white in some of the areas that he needs down here. All right. Teeth. Rubber nose. Eyeballs. Oh my gosh! <laughs> This is great. This should be like a my dating profile. <laughs> so there you have it. Terry gave you some great advice on how to do creepy clowns for Halloween. What do you think, Terry? I think it turned out great. I do too. They look fabulous. So get out there and be a clown for Halloween. I mean, unless you're a clown most of the time, then maybe you want to be something else. But if not, be a clown for Halloween. Keep those cameras rolling. Keep on clicking. Hong Kong. Trisha Zemp made a stop motion out of the Slender Lens logo. She's going to teach you how to do this and much, much more if you go to theslenderlens.com/stopmotion. By the download, it'll teach you everything you need to know about stop motion. Serious about this? We want you to follow us here on the Slider Lens. You can follow these guys too at Real Katie Loman at Instagram and at Hagenboo. And there you have it. Honk.